You found yourself the age of 19 or right. so, arriving in Los Alamos. It was like science fiction. Uh, we were told that uh, uh, they are building a bomb out of the element plutonium that doesn't exist in nature, but they are manufacturing it at Hanford. I got involved in neutron transport, which is uh, basic for atomic bombs. The most advanced thing I did was a criticality calculation for an ellipsoidal uh, assembly. When we arrived, von Neumann came to call on me. He was very much interested. So he had met you already when you were in high school? He had met me already, just as I arrived. Von Neumann had the most powerful brain of any person that I knew. Almost everyone who knew von Neumann had that impression. And it, von Neumann was interested in everything, not just mathematics. Did you have interaction with other famous Hungarian mathematicians around that time too? Paul Erdős was at the Institute for Advanced Study. I went down periodically to visit him. He gave me problems, he told me theorems. I learned a lot. In a paper that he published, there's a footnote saying, I owe the proof of this theorem to Peter Lax. And that entitles me to an Erdős number of 1.5. Still another theme is the zero dispersion limit of the Kordovec de Vries equation. As the dispersive parameter, the coefficient of the third order term tends to zero, the solutions of the equation converge weakly but not strongly. And that means that the weak limit uh, does not satisfy the limit equation, but something else. And uh, we were able to figure out what that something else is. There was a period in the late 60s of great student unrest. The Corrin Institute's building, Warren Weaver Hall, was occupied by students. And do you remember that period? Very vividly. <laughs> <laughs> well, the occupation was ma mainly of the computing center. I think $100,000 was demanded, or they would destroy the computers. And as soon as they left, I rushed out with colleagues. And we found that, indeed, there was a homemade uh, bomb liquid, some kind of liquid fuel, on the computer and a burning homemade fuse. Fred Greenleaf and another colleague jumped in and stomped on the fuse, so we stopped the destruction of the computer. Afterwards, uh, Annalee asked me, were you crazy to rush up there when you knew there was a bomb there? And I honestly answered, I was so angry, I wasn't thinking. Could it be that subjects get uh, declared exhausted and left behind when they're really not fully plumbed? I'm not worried that, that uh, math mathematics will, will become too uh, superficial. Uh, mathema mathematicians have the deep-seated habit of wanting to get deeper and deeper into a subject.